Oof. So the minute, guys. Um, I'm actually just thinking aloud, having a bit of a an existential crisis. Um, so my word of the year is courage. Um, <clears throat> And I've, I've got the word tattooed on my back. I've got the word bravery tattooed on my back. And I've been going through this whole thing of trying to figure out what is the difference uh, between courage and bravery. So I've checked the definition. I've loved YouTube videos on courage. And I think with a lot of it... Um, they are mixing it up, you know. So I've decided to have my own understandings of the word bravery and of the word courage. Um, bravery for me is an external thing, whereas courage is internal. I I believe I'm a very, very brave person. Meaning, Oguti, a lot of things that people are scared of, I'm not. Um, people are scared of, I don't know, snakes. I'm not. People are scared of dogs. People are scared of confrontation. People are scared of fighting. Those things don't scare me. Um, and I find myself in spaces where people say, yo, you brave. I'm not brave. You know, or at least I am brave. However, I got into a space of getting there. What do I mean by what I'm saying? <clears throat> I'm saying, Guti, I feel like you can train to become brave. Um, I've got a pet corn snake, which is essentially harmless. So if you come and see my pet corn snake, you get used to playing with actual reptiles. Then you go from a corn snake to some sort of boa from there and then all of a sudden your fear for snake decreases people then call you brave um in terms of fighting you can join a boxing gym you can join a muay thai gym you can join an mma class and as you get better and better your your, your fear of physically confronting a person becomes less and less you know all of a sudden people call you brave um I don't know. I just feel like bravery is this concept that you can train for or a concept also aligned with a bit of stupidity and adrenaline. You know, um, seeing something happen and you react spontaneously because of adrenaline. You know, your brain switches off and then you run at it and you're like, oh, let me go do this. Let me go fight this line. Oh. People go, oh my God, it's so brave. You know, but your brain switched off and your adrenaline kicked in and people call you brave. I appreciate that. I love being brave. Bar the, the, the stupidity part. But like I, I, I appreciate that. Courage on the other hand has been a very, very difficult one for me. Because courage courage speaks to being scared of something yet doing it. Fully embracing all the emotions fully embracing your fear putting that aside embracing the repercussions putting those aside and then doing something you find yourself in many spaces where you are where you have to be courageous no one around you can see it maybe you have to speak publicly and you are really really scared of public speaking however you will need to put that fear aside you are aware of it you are nervous, you are anxious, you are scared. But you take all those emotions and you put them aside and you do something. And people on the other side who are sitting down going, Oh my God, you're so well spoken. <laughs> that when inside you are scared shitless. That takes courage. Um, walking up to your crush. Lapo, there's a real fear of rejection. And going and introducing yourself and sparking a conversation. That takes courage. Starting a business, knowing what's in this current economy, knowing what's 
the stats are all against you scared no money loans upon loans those things take courage and like most like everyone we've got our own challenges and my challenges require so much courage and you guys i'm scared shitless so that is just me thinking aloud that is me trying to process hoping Ugoti, as you guys listen someone might spark something within me that that guides me someone might say something someone might link me into a book someone might link me into a video someone might say something that actually resonates with you no pens and do it hard do it hard be truthful to self um and and face your demons and make sure oi bo go be wash kilo shading hey go to south africa you know um hey tennis number inverter guys hey spill us soft um but hopefully i can get to that point where i actually get to face my fears and i hope that you also face your fears and be strong enough and be courageous enough to actually go and say what you need to say and do what you need to do and actually overcome such and then the consequences also <laughs> aren't as bad as as you had anticipated um but anyway guys nibe grand